Okay, guys, uh, so you know. okay, now we are test running the uh, brother. Now we've got a lot of powder here. Seems that we have put in too much, but it's alright. We want to test run it under the most extreme condition. So theoretically for a, for a breading table like that, normally it should be able to differentiate the fine powder and the big dough balls. And um, now we are going to take a look at from the other side. See, okay, the big dough balls are being put here. And then take a look at that. Those are the small powders here coming down from here. Obviously, uh, we lack the pan, we lack the pans and the containers. Otherwise, uh, those powder will not be going uh, to everywhere. I will say that it, the whole function is pretty okay. How long is it now? It has been only one and a half minutes, but then it seems that it's already finished. Wow, man. What a hell of a product. So, um, so that's a good design, isn't it? And uh, the good thing, the beauty about it is that the whole workmanship is pretty good because even though the motor is rotating, I do not notice any trembling or shivering of this machine. No noise, but of course the background is already quite noisy, so even though there's noise, I will not be able to listen it. I can hear it, I mean. Okay, here it is still coming down, but then uh, at a rate of uh, much slower than what it was a minute ago. I believe that uh, the process is almost at its uh, completion. It's almost to the end. Take a look at that. No, no more powder. Wow, oh, go oh, really good. Now there, there's no more fine powder. It's, there is only the um, the bigger dough balls, and I would say it is also almost uh, at the end of the whole breading process. I'm sure within 10 seconds that will end. Okay, that's it. Okay, testing complete. We have uh, done all the other testing on the safety, such as uh, high, uh, uh, high pot test and the DC resistance, insulation uh, resistance, etc. Okay, that's it. One, two, three.